Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. That's a 10 by 20 inch canvas, pre-primed and dry now with black paint. And I have put a chalk circle by putting a lid down and just dabbing around the edge, dotting around the edge. I have a pan of leftover colors, which are most of my favorite colors. And I want to add a few more things. And I want to find my glasses. I found my glasses, yes. I'm going to put a little bit of Venetian blue in there. I don't want to put copious amounts of anything in strings. I'm just going to put dots. This is the electric blue. That was the Venetian blue from Modern Masters. The colors in my dish are fantastic. This is my color shifting purple flash from Folk Art. I'm really tempted to put a little black in, but I'm going to resist for right now. I've got a scoop that I've already used. And I'm going to use it again and, <laughs> and again and again. So I'm just going to start, as I did the last time, by tipping the paint back in my little scoop. And hopefully I grabbed enough. If I didn't, I suppose I could taper it off to a point. Boy, it's going to be close. And I'm going to move around. Actually, I'm going to move that, up, that down a little bit. So you could always ask me the colors in here because I don't remember all of them, but they are right over there. So um, I'm going to put this one in next. And then I'm going to fix that little flaw that I see. So turn it sideways. Lead it around. And I think this is going to be left at a point also. So you can just take your skewer and lead the fresh and wet paint right up. So I'm just going to go right around the circle. Less paint where I have less of a need. Be careful of Be careful of um, how you start. <laughs> don't, don't talk and work. <laughs> Good advice. So chubby little rays, and that's okay because it's a really skinny canvas. I know that there's some folk art neon pink in here. I use GAC 800 by Golden in all of my paint mixtures, which means as I leave puddles of paint heavy, I'm going to wipe off the bottom of that, it won't crack. I like all the striations in this paint, all the patterns from having been scooped through. I haven't entered the brown zone yet, which is a really good thing. I am taking my time, as you can see. Tip it back. Don't start exactly where you need to be. Because you can always leave the paint up, but you can't... Well, you can remove it because it's a dry canvas, but... Basically, it's easier if you don't have to do it that way. So if I do just a few rays, if I don't do them all, I could do what I didn't do in the last painting yet which is fill the center in with gold. Is there enough paint in there? I'm not sure and I want to make sure there is. Rather have too much than not enough. I am going to keep going. I'm going to try and put a whole lot less paint in. I don't need a flat edge. I just need to lead the lead the rays out. That's my airbrush. 
causing me jumpiness. So just let it relax and be Johnny on the spot. Keep it moving off. Those are great colors. Wow, I like this. I am going to try and put the gold, the gold circle in the center. Could be yellow. Maybe I should use the, um, the Arteza Golden Hour. That might be kind of nice. Tip it back so you don't have an overabundance coming all at once. Just watch how you're letting your, your paint flow out. So far, so good. I'm getting very close to calling it good so I can do my center. I might have some paint left at the end of this day. Tip it back, don't forget. Put some nice red in here. Got to keep rem reminding myself to tip it back and start short of your mark. And remove your lumps when you see them. I see one. It's got to go. Oh, and it's a nodule. A hard little nodule. So I'm inclined. For, uh, I'm inclined to take chances. Just ever so slightly dipping. Well, that was a little more than ever so slightly. I'm still okay. Definitely want to take. What was I going to do? <laughs> oh, take my skewer, drag some of these up. Just dipping in, making sure you don't start at the beginning. Start away from the place you want to complete your mark to. Just can't seem to allow myself the pleasure of leaving that negative space. I got a couple more. And then it's time to be risky. I have a Q-tip, and I, I'd like to say I know how to use it, but I'm not sure. But the Q-tip is moist, and it should, in theory, just take that chalk right off of there. Which I could do also, and wait for it to dry tomorrow. But I kind of like to take my thumbnail picture. So there we go. Any of that smeary stuff will go away tomorrow. I'm going to use my Decorate Americana 24 karat gold and try and go for the center. I'd like to blow that out. I'm not sure it's my best idea, but I'm going to try. I'm going to move the paint out of the way first. I'm going to put a little more paint in there.
I want to tip it around. I probably should have waited for tomorrow. <laughs> then I could have tipped it around in a circle. So that would be my advice. nice to be able to use the airbrush but I don't think it's a good idea. I so want to tip that. Whatever I start with now I could probably put dots around and I might want to do that actually. That sounds like me. <laughs> that's, that's probably coming right up. Let me grab a nice tool with a flat end on it. That'll give me a line of demarcation also. Yeah. I like the dots. And if you go 12, 6, 3, and 9, then you shouldn't have any problem filling in in between. I say that. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not sure I'm as good as I wish I was. I'm taking chances. I'm making an assumption that the pain is going to relax. I really want some orange dots around the center of that. I'm not sure that that's good, good news. I have got to have a tool with a light sharp end on it. And if I can find a tool with a sharp end on it, and usually I can't get rid of them. There we go. Then I can grab some orange. That little bit of chalk smudge is sort of throwing me. But like I said, it'll wipe right off tomorrow. So this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. Wondering if I set my timer because I'm not looking at it. I'm going to tell you that I run a monthly drawing that helps pay for art supplies to keep me producing videos for you guys. And thank you very much for all the donations through PayPal and Patreon that have kept me painting all this time. I really appreciate that. And those of you who don't know, should be able to find the PayPal and Patreon, I prefer PayPal, icons on the bottom right hand corner of my YouTube channel banner. And if you do that and you make a donation, it'll be automatically entered in the monthly drawing. And you can see the prizes for the drawing at the beginning of the exhibition video that's new every month. Um, what else can I tell you guys? Thank you for all the wonderful comments and compliments that you leave me to keep my morale boosted. Thank you for shopping my Amazon link that's included on the on the link tree link, the first blue link under the video. You can find my two books there because I can and unlimited possibilities. You can also find Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links and my legalerist clothing made in Montreal that's investment clothing worth looking at. My email address is below the link tree should you be be interested in inquiring about the purchase of an artwork. Feel free to use that email address with, and include the hashtag and the file number from the title of the video. If you want to inquire about taking a private class with me at the house in Spring Hill, Florida, that is also the place. Underneath show more, where underneath where the, where the email address is, you're also going to find my paint pouring recipe and my cell activator recipe. Not that I use it in this, but it's there. Please give me a thumbs up. Thank you for sharing my videos. Thank you for watching them longer. That's the one big deal that helps my, st my standing on YouTube. My spring clothing under the video has all over print leggings and all over print t-shirts and a lot more stuff. If you click one of those items, you'll be brought to a store where all the rest of them are. You can also find them 
the store on my community board on my YouTube channel. And you can find my community board and on my YouTube channel and check out tomorrow's video if I post, if I remember to put it there. And my Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for Students, is another place I post tomorrow's video. And you might need to do that because notifications don't go out and I'm low man on the totem pole these days, but I'm not sure why. If you have questions, you're welcome to ask me. I love you guys very much. I have over 2,000 videos, and if you need a link, just ask me. They are organized by playlist and by the hundred, by topic and genre. And if you go to all playlists, create a playlist on my YouTube channel, you'll find them. I love you guys. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. Wondering if I should put a couple more rays right in there because it really looks like it needs them. And I'm going to do that. And if, I'm, if it's not done yet, <laughs> when you're gone, forgive me. But right now, I'm going to do that. And I didn't drip, so I'm very happy. Let some more paint relax here. Yep, I'm much happier with that. And do the same thing on the other side. Good thing I got GAC 800. That's a really heavy amount of paint right there. I'm going to save the rest of my paint for tomorrow. I'll see you guys anon. Love you all. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now. This is Priscilla Battelle in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. Happier that I filled that in. Cool. Looks good now. She said, still fussing with things. All right, I'll see you guys anon. Priscilla out.